brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Welcome back, everybody, to Healthy Living Tuesday. We are talking about vaccinations. My dear friend, Dr. Yitkalam from Express Care is here. And uh, Doc, for parents who are, you know, this is something they have to do to get their child ready for school, but everybody's busy these days. People are doing a million things at the same time. Um, as far as your workload and, and the number of cases that, that you and your staff see, is there a best time when people could come in, oh. you know, day of the week, maybe a time range or something? Uh, I, I have to say we're slammed right now. Everybody's doing their best. We just ask you to be very patient and um, we'll get get to you as soon as we can. There isn't really a best time right now. <laughs> well, well I've, I've been through your clinic many times and everything. You guys are actually quite We're doing the best quite we can. Swift. Yeah. yeah. Well, a long way to your clinic is like 10 minutes or so. Okay. Um, other types of vaccines that are coming up, not just for students, but for people of all ages, are the flu vaccines. It's mm -hmm. kind of a little ways off and everything like that. But let's talk about the importance of the flu vaccine. And more importantly, how many people do not get it every year? Oh, um, well, I think maybe people aren't aware. Most children should have a flu vaccine. Anybody who's around a lot of people, that would be kids in classrooms, um, teachers of those children, anybody who's um, exposed to a sickly person, a diabetic person, somebody who's in the hospital, and those people themselves, people with chronic conditions, uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, any kind of cancer, and anybody over the age of 50 should have a flu shot. So who does that leave out? Pretty much, pretty much everybody can use a flu shot, but except for um, maybe super healthy people in their 20s who spend a lot of time alone, you know. Mm. Um, otherwise, you can use a flu shot to prevent the sickness. But a lot of people still do not because they were like, well, you know, it's, mm. they it's, see it as something that's purely optional or that, you know, yeah. like, oh, okay, well, I'll just tolerate the flu and everything yeah. like that. But, but there is a very serious benefit to doing that. There is a benefit. And we, we just follow national guidelines. There are people who will say, I get very sick when I take a flu shot. Okay, well, well don't take it. It's not right for everybody. Nothing is right for everybody. But most people will, will suffer minor side effects like a sore arm or a low grade temperature or just feeling kind of under the weather for a day or two. And then you'll have the benefit of not being sick for a week or 10 days later on, especially if you are in any of those sickly categories already. If you already have a chronic disease, then you should really have a flu shot. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing as a physician like a lot of um, organizations, be they you know private companies, maybe even schools, mm -hmm. uh, church groups and everything like that, where they actually mandate flu shots for their staff. Yeah, they do and they, they support it and they bring somebody in to give the flu shots and, and, and it's recognized as a preventive health measure uh, for, for groups as well as individuals. So um, generally thought of as a good idea. Okay. Uh, for people in your line of work, how many vaccinations did you guys have to get? Because you were talking about people that are exposed to oh, yeah. people that are sickly. And because I, yeah. I imagine that, that you and your colleagues That's you know, a get sick idea. a lot. Yeah. So, well, actually, thankfully, we don't get sick because we wash our hands so yes. many times a day. That's true. So that's the key. People often ask me that. Why don't you get sick? There's so many sick people. Uh, I'm very thankful I don't get sick, but I wash my hands about 100 times a day, and that helps. And um, as far as um, you know, um, other health benefits um, or health healthcare workers, um, what we do is we get our annual flu shot, we get our tetanus shot every 10 years, and uh, all the other regular vaccinations. But um, hepatitis B is the only other one that healthcare workers get that other people may not have. Okay, we were just doing the knock on wood. We can knock on like this little <laughs> this wooden flower here. There since you we go. Have it. Okay, um, you just touched on it a second ago, but are are there different types of immunizations and vaccinations that adults get that they won't necessarily get oh, earlier in life? That's a great question, yes. So when you are older, you again become slightly weaker. Your immune system is not as strong as when, it, as when you were younger. So at age 65, it's recommended that uh, people get a pneumonia vaccine to prevent that illness and at age 60 and higher to get a shingles vaccine. That one prevents uh, the re reoccurrence of uh, varicella, which caused chickenpox at mm. a young age. Now we're getting shingles at an older age. Oh, okay. And um, is there a generic schedule or something like this? Because, you know, you, you mentioned like there's pretty much like a map of ages and what you should yeah. get. Can people find those online? You sure can. Just go to CDC, that's the Center for Disease Control, cdc.gov and type in vaccinations and they'll give you um, a, a whole chart and you can look it up yourself of what you need or what your child might need. Okay, and the last question before we go to commercial break. Um, for the cost conscious people out there, and mm -hmm. unfortunately we live in a society where yeah. people still see treatments that are definitely beneficial to their health, but they say, uh, you know, I don't want to spend another 15 bucks yeah. on a shot or something yeah. like that. What are they looking at if, it's like say family of four, husband, wife, and two kids, and they're trying to get uh, flu shots across the board and everything like that. Right. How much are they looking at expending? And is that covered by most insurance plans? It is covered by all insurance, but um, 
there are oftentimes free clinics um, out at the mall or public health will do free vaccinations so you can look for those in the newspaper at our clinic it's 25 bucks for a flu shot and that's a lot less than a visit to the doctor and medication so it's still you know cost effective that way but you can obtain a flu shot for free oftentimes if you just keep your eyes and ears open and the flu shot is more or less good for a year it is okay because the new viruses pop up and, yeah. and the new strains are new meant strains. to combat them all right this was an incredibly informative session thank you so much thank you we have a great day it. thanks all right stay healthy everybody we will be